Welcome to Just Gaming. Tonight we're playing Find Love or Die Trying. Continuing with Visual Now in November. Yeah, yeah. Woo. The best way to describe this game is I'm in a reality TV show and I gotta romance these chicks. If I can't do it in a week, then, well, I die. Fun! <laughs> uh, I go by he, him. Episode one. <laughs> you. <laughs> I don't know who this is. Is this the house? Uh, maybe. maybe. Okay. I think hey, the host is a guy. Oh, of course. Right. Uh, hey, don't just lie there. Get up. Just five more minutes. You're the star of the show! You can't just sleep through it! Watch me. <laughs> oh, so that's how you wanna play? It's on! Ow! <laughs> oh, it is a girl! Oh, never mind. What? Okay, it's the main, the main girl in the middle. Okay. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Wow, she's hot. <laughs> I've got the fan on, dude. <laughs> Are you in an airplane? Yo! The, I've seen these kinds of planes. I... oh my god. <clears throat> Ow, I love how they're just using stock music in this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've heard this music in so many other games. <laughs> Ow, ow, ow! Did you just hit me? Nah, I just got here. I just chased off the person who hit you. Oh, okay. <laughs> really? You should be thanking me. Well, thanks, I guess. Let's be polite here. Don't mention it. It's all in a day. It's all in a good day's work. Anyway, what was your name again? Oh, my name's... I can't remember my name! Uh-oh. Wait, what? I swear, I didn't even hit you that far. Ha! Guilty! Ha! You admit it! So you did hit me! That's not important. Try to remember. If you can't remember anything, we're both gonna be in big trouble. Why is that? We we can talk about we can talk about after we can talk about why after. What was your name? It's um my name is uh Coy. <laughs> Wait, I got it. My name is <laughs> Chris. Chris McLean Okay. It's a tall drama reference. Uh <laughs> My name's Chris! It's Chris! I can't remember anything else, though. Wow. I should try hitting you. I should try hitting my accountant sometime. Nah. Do you remember where we are? What you're doing here? No, I can't remember a thing. Everything's so foggy. Alright. I can give you the rundown. You're on a reality TV show called Find Love or Die Trying. Though we just call it find love or the or though we just call it find love for the uninformed. I'm the producer. The name is Kat. The premise is that you you, the suitor, are living with five beautiful women, and one of them is your soulmate. I haven't even met them yet. How how would you know one of them is my soulmate? That's just how it is. Welcome to reality TV. You'll get to know two of the girls over the next six days, over three dates with each of them. Then on the seventh day, you'll have to ask one of them to marry you and have at the final Santa Morini. That seems straightforward enough to me. Not so fast, partner. Oh. 
Dude! We'll let that on post. No, keep it in there. That was good. <laughs> anyway. The girl you choose will be given a choice whether or not to accept your proposal. If she says yes, you two will fade off into the sunset with a gold-plated yacht on the last day. Yes, I get a yacht! Happily ever after forever, except without the yacht. It's a loner. Never mind, I don't get a yacht. If she says no? I mean, you get to stay on it temporarily. True. Well, Still an we're going to have, well, we're going to have to kill you. Wait, what? Killed? You're joking, right? Oh, shit. <clears throat> no, that's the reaction I wanted to see. Eh. Really? You look like I just took a shit in your cereal. Ew. What's going on? <laughs> Who are you? Oh, where are my manners? The name's Damien. Damien Black. I swear, my wardrobe is a complete coincidence. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the CEO of Royal Black Media, the biggest network for Battle Royale games on the planet. Battle Royale games? Like, computer games? You've been living under a rock, stink-ass armpit? Real people oh. killing each other is in this season. What? So that's why Duncan is so popular. Yeah. <laughs> well was in the season. I swear, I put in hard and honest work into making top of the line killing shows, and what do I get for it? <sighs> so we're trying a new kind of killing game. Spicing a little romance on top for the people who fart dreams and bake cakes out of rainbows. That's where you come in. And hey, it's not a bad deal. You might find love. Or die. Whatever. Just put on a good show for me. Hmm. Uh, excuse me. Is this Mr. a Black? guy? It looks like it. I'm just going with... Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Black? What is it, one? We're missing one of the aerial cameras in the backfield. Well, that's my cue. The intern ain't gonna shoot himself. Give him hell, Kit Kat. Oh, God. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm getting out of here. For starters, I can barely remember my own name, let alone if I already have a partner. If that's what you're worried about, you didn't. And not for a lack of trying. How would you know that? <sighs> Look, you don't have a choice. Danny will kill you if you try to escape. Or if you tell any of the girls about the truth behind the show. The girls don't know? They have no idea that your life is in danger. They just think it's a regular dating show about finding your soulmate called Find Love. If you tell them any of the truth, you won't just get yourself killed. You'll get them killed as well. Man, whatever year this is in, the laws must have been pretty lax about murder. Or this is one of those under-the-table kind of deals. Hmm. Or that. How could you... Don't... I don't make the rules, Chris. I'm sorry. Really. You're a pretty serious person, Chris. I should hope so. I was the host of Total Drama Island! Most people would be happier to hear that they're alone in paradise with five beautiful women. What's there to worry about? Oh, you know, the whole getting executed thing. If the girl I asked says no, the little bit with not remembering who the hell I am. How about this? I need my show to be successful and run across the plan. And you want your memories back. And presumably leave the show alive. That depends on what the memories are, but yes. If you be a good suitor for my show, I'll help you get your memories back. It's really not that, 
It's really not a bad deal. Most people would kill for a chance like this. You ever notice these murder games always seem to include memory loss? I mean, between Danganronpa and this, it yeah. always seems to be a factor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously, all you have to do is get one of the five lovely women to ask you out. Be with I'll be with you every step of the way, off camera. Before you know it, I'm sure you'll be having lots of fun. Depends on what you mean by fun. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? You may even fall in love. You wouldn't be the first. Or I could decide to form a harem. Ew. <laughs> but if you survive uh -huh. the whole show... But if you survive the whole show... I promise I'll tell you everything you want to know. Pinky promise. How does that sound? <sighs> Doesn't sound like I have a choice, so it sounds like a deal. That's the spirit, sugar. Okay, between her saying sugar here and the fact that she said blow their partner a while ago, I'm starting to think she might have a southern accent. Okay. Who knows? You might even be thanking me for this one day. I mean, partner isn't necessarily strictly Southern. Like, it just could mean, like, a couple that's committed but doesn't want to get married necessarily. That's true. <laughs> so it doesn't... And I've heard plenty of New Yorkers also say sugar, so... Uh, sugar baby. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. We'll see about that. Trust me, I'll make sure this show will be the best time of your life. I'm <laughs> sure that may be. It'll be so great that everything after will feel like a disappointment. That's a depressing way to look at. What if I ended up with one of the girls after the show? Anyway, without further ado, let's get started with the show. Follow me, and I'll take you to where you'll meet the lovely contestant. A uh, cat grabbed me by the hand and pulled me along. Remember, you can't tell anyone the truth about the dating game. No matter what, just smile. Got it? Just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Got it. We stepped out of the bar together. I didn't realize it at first. There was a bar in a small airplane. I guess I must have flown here. You guess? There's no guessing if you step out of an airplane, dude. And no shit. We walked until we wa we walked until we saw a mansion in the distance. <whistles> wow, it's huge. <laughs> That's what she said. Can't imagine how expensive this place is. You'd be surprised. Since we're... Since we're all the way in some forgotten corner of New Asia, the land comes pretty cheap. Okay, New Asia, so that means we have to be in some distant future. Mm-hmm. New Asia? Have you never read the news in the past decade? Memory loss. Remember? Right. Well, I'm sure you haven't forgotten about how the how to talk to the girls, right? I've been talking to you, haven't I? Five, four, three, two, one. Wait, what? We're starting already? Not quite. Oh my god. To give the world the top tier enter to give to protect our asses from unemployment. <coughs> to make the world uh, believe in the world fate of love. Oh my god. <laughs> we work like we slaves work for the shields above. Is this straight oh up my... like a 
Team Rocket thing? It is. My God. Oh my God. We're the Brothers Five. Oh. <laughs> oh fuck. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. <laughs> Prepare to. Get the set ready. I want to start filming yesterday. Oh. I guess we're not important enough to finish our intros. Whose idea was it to work in the TV industry anyway? This wouldn't have happened if we had just decided to be accountants. Wait. Wait by the mansion doors and thank me later. It's showtime, people. Let's get to work. Oh my god. <laughs> I walk to the doors. Hey, Chris, can you hear me? God damn, I thought I was free from her. Cat's voice boomed across the island, though she was nowhere in sight. Oh my god, Cat's a ghost! Now that's a plot twist for ya. Cat? I wasn't kidding when I said I'd be here with you every step of the way. As long as you're on the island, I'll be able to see and hear and even talk to you. Just think of me as a cuter and sexier big brother. That doesn't sound nearly as good as you think it does. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how else, do, how else can we film a show? You really want me to meet you? You really want to meet the love of your life and the camera sticking out of your head? Good point. Anyway, head on to the mansion already and we'll and go meet the girls. I recommend checking out the library, the kitchen, the game room, and the backyard. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. From here on out, the cameras will be rolling. Don't be stupid. See you later, sweet cheek. Cat, out. Did she just hit on me? Out of the back. Out of the bag, that is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm finally here. There's only one thing left to do. Open the door. Hey, bye, hum. My eyes were drawn to a girl wearing a white dress pacing around the lobby. Hey, what's up? Okay, <clears throat> I guess I'll take this one because I know there's a couple that cat that uh, uh, Lynn's wants to do. Okay. Whoa, whoa! I I didn't see you there. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, it's really you, Chris! Ah, so you've watched my show! <laughs> hmm. That's me! How'd you know my name? It hasn't been that long, has it? It's me, Yui! Yui Fushikawa! Huh? We went to the same high school way back? Come again? Yeesh. You haven't changed one bit. Always forgetting everything important. Uh -huh. Wait, calm down. I know how it sounds, but I've got amnesia. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? Can't lie to your student council pre president. That's... Mm. That's... Perjury. Preacher. That's... That's perjury. It's true, really! I wouldn't lie about this! You really can't remember anything? Really, I wouldn't joke about this. Promise. Uh, oh. I can't believe you forgot. But, on second thought, that may be a good thing. How on earth could it be good to forget everything? You know, moving on from your past is the best way to live. And all that. Everyone has things from high school they'd rather forget, right? I never went to high school, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
see you, Chris. You haven't changed. It feels like we just, it feels like when we used to be, like when we used to fool around back then, or fool around in a family friendly sort of way. Hmm. Promise? Uh huh, sure. <clears throat> oh. It's good to see you too, mm. Yui. I really hope I get those memories back. I want to know what I did to her. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what brings you out here? Oh, you know, to be honest, dating apps or shows and Oops. and all that really aren't my thing. I dropped my fork. <laughs> but I saw that you were... What are you... Oh, what are you making me say? Um, besides that, welcome to the mansion. It's ginormous. I'll spare you from embarrassing yourself by asking you where to show you and where my room is. Just wait. Uh, oh, wait a sorry. second. I haven't even cleaned it up. Wait, was that you? Nope, that's you. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> it doesn't really help that her name is Yui, and then it just points to you saying you instead of just saying chris i know mm. it's so confusing you really have to pay attention oh, wait a second i haven't cleaned it up yet she rushed out before i could get a word somehow i get the sense that this has happened before i guess i'll see her later i should get back to exploring the house where to next oh go to the game room yeah let's go to the game room hey as i walked to the games room my eyes were drawn to a girl playing a handheld game device she looked deep in thought as her fingers moved and pressed buttons at lightning speed. Okay, so she's the Chiaki of the show. Yeah. <laughs> Is this the one you wanted to... Yeah, this was one of the ones that I wanted to do. Okay. Because of the reason that I wanted to give her a Chiaki voice. <laughs> Go for it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Woo! New high score. Oh man, it's a shame I can't submit it. Oh, is that dude? Do you know what happened to the internet? What? Ever since I came to this island, I haven't been able to get any signal at all. I'm literally going to die at this rate. You okay? Tell my followers, they were the best. What does a person even do in this situation? Are you okay? No worries, Chris. She'll be fine. Oh. Hey, Kat, what's up? We had to turn off the internet to make sure no spoilers for the show get out. Tara's just a bit overdramatic about it. You'll get used to it. Yeah, you can... You can tell me I'm being overdramatic when you literally sent us, uh, when you literally sent us back into the Stone Age. With games and electricity and other things, but still. Uh, I was so excited to stream for everybody when I got here. <laughs> I believe the crying emoji. Crying emoticon. <laughs> <laughs> You're a streamer? Go to twitch.tv <laughs> slash Tara. <laughs> yes, sir. That I am. I'm mostly a variety game streamer, but I also stream real life, too. Marry me. <laughs> and I can't now. Oh. QAQ. Yeah. Maybe you could just record things and post them later? Like what most YouTubers do. I guess that's what I'll have to do. But that's so last year. Fell out the Markiplier. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, what's this whole show about? Wait. What? <laughs> I 
honestly have no idea what I just got into regarding pretty much everything to do with the show. You didn't even do a little bit of research before you decided to come here? Uh... Hey, hey, don't get in my face about this. From what I heard from Kat, you didn't either. Hey, amnesia and not doing a little bit of research are totally different. I forgot to do my... Uh, I forgot to do my due gil to do my due gil diligence. I can't say that. <laughs> due diligence. <laughs> just it's all the D words in one go. <laughs> do my due diligence. Oh, do I my, know. It's a, try it's saying like that five times fast. Do my due diligence. Do my due diligence. I forgot it's like a tongue twister. Yeah. I forgot to do my due diligence, and you forgot your life. Same deal. Seriously. It's not the same deal. Anyway, it's a dating show called Find Love. Cat can explain the rules in more detail, but it's pretty much pretty much it's pretty much what you for me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Cat can explain the rules in more detail, but it's pretty much what you expect from any generic dating TV show. Fuck. <laughs> it's like the it's like the bloopers from Sam and Max Save the World. <laughs> and my name's Chris. I'm a cat calls the suitor. But I think in a previous lifetime I was the host of Total Drama Island. Huh. <laughs> so it's like a visual novel de a visual novel dating sim game. Except I'm stuck in it. Rather than getting to play it myself. What is with these oh. meta visual novels? What? Meta can be funny. Yeah. Yeah, but like, this is the second one in the row we've had so far. I know. I mean, it's not like these characters are self-aware, like, um, like Lilith was. Doki Doki. Mm hmm Doki Doki. <clears throat> I guess so? Well, since this is a game... I'm gonna win it! I'm not sure it's the right way to approach dating, but... Look out, world! Terra's coming! And she always wins! Terra ran off with a fiery look in her eyes. I've got no idea where she's headed. But who would? I guess hmm. there's nothing left to do here. I might as well head over oh to... Oh my... Uh... Well, she's your best bet of winning this game and hopefully surviving. Yeah. Okay. Who knows? Library, kitchen, or backyard. Books, food, or possibly bikinis. Let's go with the bikini. Bikini! Wow. Calling this a backyard is like calling what happened to the Titanic a leak. The field goes farther than the eye can see. My eyes were quickly drawn to a girl running laps across the field. She's quick. She's getting closer and closer. And she slid to a stop in front of me. Aw, no bikini. Well, let's we'll <laughs> take this one. Okay. Uh, hold on. One minute. <laughs> one oh one my second. God. I'm getting a phone call. I'll be back in two minutes. Okay. Pause the game. A few moments later. She slid to a stop in front of me. Howdy. I'm Ali. It's nice to meet ya. You're Chris, right? That's... Ah, I don't really care. Care for a job, though? Sure. Sure, that sounds... Alright, let's go! Oh, shit. She grabbed my hand and pulled me with her at breakneck speed. Ah! <laughs> She's so fast! It takes all I have just to keep pace with her! The wind in my face feels nice, though. For some reason, I feel like I've missed this. Actually, I don't think I've ever gone this fast! Ah! All I can imagine is just like her running and just dragging him along like a little flag, like <laughs> ah. <laughs> come on, come on, keep it up. We'll have you in tip top shape in no time, soldier. Whatever nice thoughts I had flowing in my head were thrown up by my newly assigned drill sergeant. I thought I signed up for a dating show, not a fitness show. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm starting to hit a comfortable pace. Is that all you've got? Allie was widening the distance between us with a smile on her face. Call me simple, but I started to run as fast as I could. 
Ah! I gained more and more speed and watched as Ally slowly fell behind. Wow! You're running even faster than my dad than my dad did when he left. What the? I consciously slowed down. My face contorted with shock. In just that single moment, she caught up and quickly surpassed me. I'm kidding. Jeez. No need to take everything so seriously. Oh. The bastard died before he even got a chance to. Oh. Oh, I'm so... Zumpy, I killed him myself. What? What? <laughs> The look on your face is hilarious. Don't worry so much, Chris. I'm kidding. Kidding. Or am I? I felt my heart start to give out less from the running and more from the emotional roller coaster. We finished jogging a few minutes later. I'm completely out of breath. That was fun, Chris. <sighs> Let's run again sometime. Let's not. I fell to my knees to catch my breath and watch as she walked away effortlessly. But you'll have to be faster than that to keep up with me, soldier. A suitor. I lay on the grass like an obese walrus grasping for air. Is this how I die? <laughs> <sighs> I don't think I'll have to be worried about telling Allie the truth with how hard it is to breathe. <sighs> I think I'll live. At least for now. I rolled onto my back and relaxed for a moment. After I get up, I guess I'll head on over to... Okay, books or food? Books or food? I'm pretty sure you're gonna need some water. Yeah, let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> One. These ribs are... One. These ribs are going... Are well done. Thank you, ma'am. They were supposed to be medium rare. Please remake them all before the hour is up. Damn. I knew we should have worked with them being accountants. Yeah. Then I just have the opportunity for you. One, I've just brought one of the neighboring islands. I just bought one of the neighboring islands. And I need someone to balance the books. Please have it finished all by nightfall. And don't forget about the rib. I take it back. The side dishes are magnificent. Do keep it up, you diligent worker, you. Oh, shut. You're too kind, ma'am. I don't get what you're complaining about, bro. Violet's amazing. She's even volunteering to help us, help us lowly peons. Okay, so she's like the, she's like Pacifica Northwest. This soup is simply delightful. Good work, three. You take him, Quart. Thank you, Violet. Man, she's a hundred times better than when four bosses around. I couldn't agree more. One, if you insist on taking so long in those meatballs, perhaps we'll use you. Perhaps we'll use your meatballs instead. Oh God! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Th Ow! I mean, I guess she likes Rocky Mountain oysters. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. <laughs> Though, upon further thought, you never, you never needed them anyway. So, maybe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's oh. such an angel. <clears throat> Are we even talking about the same person? <laughs> <laughs> hey there, got a second to chat? Pardon me? I didn't see you there before. Just one second. I've got to clean up the soup that one set on fire earlier. Is that even possible? Well, you can burn it pretty badly. Anything's possible if you put your mind to it. Yeah. Evidently, the same is true if you like if you like a mind completely. Uh public education. Just kidding. You're not wrong though. 
Hey, that was uncalled for. Actually, we think the same about you on a daily basis. I can confirm that. I wish mom never had you guys. Oh! <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> Apologies for the delay. I'm finished now. I'm Violet. Violet Valentine. The pleasure is yours, Chris. You already know who I am? I imagine... I imagine each contestant does. Flying all the way out here for a whole week on, for a blind date. No one could be that unintelligent. Lynch, you gotta sneeze, girl. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see her. <laughs> <laughs> I do hope you're I do hope you are worthy of being tutor. You'll find that courting a lady is a different sport than the other girls. It's true. She's one of the two daughters of the Valentine family. They're even richer than Royal Black Media. Alright, three. Your pay is cut by 50%. Even your shittier instant... Enjoy your, sh your even shittier instant noodles. Is it too late to go back to school? <laughs> I am... I am, how you say, fascinated. I'd like to see what makes you so special. You look fairly average to me. I guess you'll be in for a surprise, Violet. I do like a... A deafening explosion blasted through the kitchen. Uh, the spaghetti tonight will be, how do I say, a little different. I hope you don't mind. You're not really putting one on the menu, right? Um... <laughs> one? Why is there a hole in the ceiling? Looks like they'll be busy in the kitchen for a while. Alright, I decided to head over to the library! Last girl! I'm, gu I'm guessing this is where Scarlet's gonna be. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take this one. The library was like a library out of a movie. Grand. Majestic. Maybe I'll call you Grace or Majesty. Or Debbie. Or Debbie. <laughs> oh my god, we just said it. Yeah, from Spongebob, my pretty little yeah, seahorse. Yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. We just said Debbie in unison. Jake's Yobius on the court. Yobius on the court. Nothing like your average library, which became... <laughs> nothing like your average library, which becomes a porn set after closing time. Oh. oh my. Is that implying what I think it's implying? Oh my. I think it is. I took a few steps forward and noticed a girl with red hair at the back of the library. Oh. Okay, I really do like her outfit. Yeah, she's cute. Don't let her look spoil you, though. Oh, mm -hmm. She was reading a magazine, or so it seemed from first glance. If you crane your head a bit to the side, you can see another book hidden behind the magazine. A slash B testing after the apocalypse. First edition by DB. Mm-hmm. Hey, what you reading? Oh, this? Just another, um, just another elementary. I mean, an absolutely, uh, fetch, I mean, an absolutely fetch truth T-bomb, yes! <laughs> Can you believe that this one's, uh, that this one celebrity would, like, date another celebrity? I can't even! It's almost like they're people! It's like she's trying so hard to be a bimbo, but she doesn't know how. Yeah. <laughs> she's way too smart for her own good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can see what you're actually reading, you know. Oh gosh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> Why would that be embarrassing? The book you're actually reading sounds a lot more interesting. Where I come from, people make fun of people who do what I do, I guess. To them, a library is just a place to film porn after closing time. Sorry, not going here. <laughs> <coughs> I'm Scarlet, by the way. You're Chris, correct? That's me. It's nice to meet you, Scarlet. 
It's nice to meet you too, Chris. I'm curious. So what are you actually reading? I thought you'd never ask. Here, let me show- Ugh! Scarlet dropped the magazine and the book behind it on the floor, revealing a second magazine in her hands. Ah. She ran away so fast, I didn't even have a chance to say anything more. All right, all right, enough messing around. If you're on the show and you're not, you're not an underpaid grunt, come to the main entrance of the mansion. I guess that includes me. I should start heading over. That, that includes you too, Tara. I can see you playing, you know. You're not the boss of me. What have I gotten myself into? By the time I got there, Cat and the girls were surrounding a blackboard covered with scribbles and math equations. And that's why Chris is the perfect soulmate for each of you. I'm sorry, you just drew a bunch of numbers and symbols that don't mean anything. It's like the bullshit math they show on screen in a movie. Ah, uh, you're late to the party, Chris. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. But you're just in time for the first alone time segment. Alone time segment? You can't find your soulmate without having a little alone time together. I'm liking where this is going. Oh god. <laughs> it's time for you to pick your first soulmate candidate. One of two lovely ladies you'll be spending, spending time with this week. So without further ado, who's it going to be? Wait, I have to choose already? I haven't even had a chance to really talk with any of them yet. Don't think of it that way. Think of it more like, well, who do you want to talk to the most right now? All right, I guess. <laughs> oh, gosh. Which one? Uh, I don't know. Should we next time on Just Gaming this? Sure. That, yeah, that might be better. Yeah. All right. Uh, next time in Just Gaming, well, you'll find out which amazingly sexy, hot, bangable girl we'll be going for. Until then, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Rocky Mountain Oysters. My money is long, Tara. <laughs> <laughs>